Here's the moment that number 14 Jake Tebow remembers most about last weekend's Boston Bulldogs hockey game. To be honest with you, I remember scoring that game. <laughs> Jake says he's grateful he doesn't remember what happened later in the game when he collided with another player, hit the boards, and dropped to the ice. Obviously, I've been the, the victim of how quick life can change. Jake, who's been on skates since he was three and dreamed of playing hockey in college, now finds himself unable to move his legs. Doctors tell Jake he broke his T7 vertebra and that they've placed screws and rods to hold his spinal cord in place. I guess the best way to picture it is it's kind of like you have your spine, which is like the pathway for all the signals, and it's kind of just like under construction right now. Jake feels fortunate that he did not sever his spinal cord, and with the help of hospital staff, he's already been able to sit up in bed. He's also tested his arms with hugs for his family. And so that was pretty cool. I uh, was able to, you know, get myself to, while sitting down, hug him and it was a great feeling, definitely a good day yesterday. Now he wants more good days that will turn into weeks, then months of physical therapy. And even though the doctors say there's no guarantee, Jake is laser focused on scoring his next goal. Which is to walk again. Jake's determination has caught the attention of everyone from People Magazine to the Boston Bruins. An online fundraising campaign has already brought in nearly $400,000 in donations.